Friends and viewer, I have in my hand the complete works of William Shakespeare, his plays and poetry. And today my intention is to introduce to you one of his best uh, tragic play, Anthony and Cleopatra. So uh, I think this is the last tragic play of William Shakespeare. Antony and Cleopatra. So, as all of you know, who was a, Ma a Mark Antony, one of the ablest journal, one of the uh, the friends of Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, one of the three rulers of the Roman Empire, spent his time in Egypt, living a life of decadence and conducting an affair with the country's beautiful queen, Cleopatra, when a message arrives informing him that his wife, Fulvia, is dead and that Pompey is raising an army to rebel against the Tumerate. Antony decides to return to Rome in An Antony's absence, Octavius, Caesar and Lepidus, his fellow Triumvirs, worry about Pompey's increasing strength. Octavius condemns Antony for neglecting his duties as a statesman and military officer in order to live a decadent life by Cleopatra's side. The news of his wife's death and eminent battle pricks Antony's sense of duty and he feels compelled to return to Rome. Upon his arrival, he and Octavius quarrel while Lepidus tries ineffectually to make peace, realizing that an alliance is necessary to defeat Pompey. Antony and Octavius agree that Antony will marry Octavius' sister Octavia, who will solidify their loyalty to one another. In a Barbus, Antony's closest uh, friend, predicts to Octavius man that despite the marriage, Antony will surely return to Cleopatra. In Egypt, Cleopatra learns of Antony's marriage and flies into a jealous rage. However, when a messenger delivers word that Octavia is plain and unimpressive, Cleopatra becomes confident that she will win Antony back. The triumvirs meet Pompey and settle their differences without going to battle. Pompey agrees uh, to keep peace in exchange for the rule over uh, Sicily and Sardinia. That evening, the four men drink to celebrate the truce. One of Pompey's soldiers disclosed to him a plan to assassinate the triumvirs, thereby delivering world, world power into Pompey's hand. But Pompey dismisses the scheme as an affront to his honor. Meanwhile, one of the Antony's generals wins a victory over the kingdom of Parthia. Antony and Octavia depart for Athens. Once they are gone, Octavius breaks his truce, wages war against Pompey and defeats him. After using Lepidus' army to secure a victory, he accuses Lepidus of treason, imprison him and confiscates his land and possession. There, this news angers Antony, as do the rumors that Octavius has been speaking out against him in public. Octavia pleads with Antony to maintain a peaceful relationship with the, her brother. Should Antony and Octavius fight, she says, her affection would be plainfully divided. Antony dispatches her to Rome on a peace mission. Uh, and quickly returns to Egypt in Cleopatra. There he raises a large army to fight Octavius. And Octavius, incensed over Antony's treatment of his sister and navy to Egypt, ignoring all advice uh, to the contrary, Antony elect to fight him at sea, allowing Cleopatra to command a ship despite in a Barbara's strong objection. 
Anthony's forces lose the battle when Cleopatra ship flees and Anthony follows, leaving the rest of the fleet vulnerable. Anthony disappears, condemning uh, Cleopatra for leading him into infamy, but quickly forgiving her. He and Cleopatra send requests to their conqueror. Anthony asks to be allowed to live in Egypt, while Cleopatra asks uh, that her kingdom be passed down to her rightful years. Octavius dismisses Anthony's request, but he promised Cleopatra a fair hearing if she betrays her lover. Cleopatra seemed to be giving thought to Octavius' messages when Anthony bards in, curses her for her treachery and order the innocent messenger whipped. When moments later Anthony forgives Cleopatra uh, you know, Barbus decides that his master is finished and defects to Octavius' camp. Anthony meets Octavius' troops in battle and scores an unexpected victory. When he learns of Eno Barbus' desertion, Anthony laments his own bad fortune, which he believes has corrupted an honorable man. He sends his friend's possession to Octavius' camp and returns to Cleopatra. To celebrate his victory, Anna Barbus, undone by shame at his own disloyalty, collapses under the weight of his guilt and dies. Another day brings another battle, and once again Anthony meets Octavius at sea. As before, the Egyptian fleet proves treacherous, it abandons the fight and leaves Anthony to suffer defeat. Convinced that his lover has betrayed him, Anthony vows to kill Cleopatra. To protect herself, she squisters herself in her monument and send word that she has committed suicide. Anthony, racked with grief, determined to join his queen in the afterlife. He commands one of his attendants to fulfill his promise of unquestioned service and kill him. The attendant kills himself instead. Uh, Anthony then falls on his own sword, but the wound is not immediately fatal. He is carried to Cleopatra's monument, where the lovers are reunited uh, briefly before Anthony's death. Octavius takes the queen prisoner, planning to display her in Rome as a testament to the might of his empire, but she learns of his plan and kills herself with the help of several poisonous snacks. Octavius has her buried beside Anthony. So this is the, the tragic story and the tragedy of the life of uh, Anthony and Cleopatra. So in this play, there are many, this is an historical play, a tragedy by William Shakespeare. We have many characters like this. The hero of this uh, play is Mark Anthony, a once fierce and feared journal who rules the Roman Empire, along with the two other triumvirs, Octavius Caesar and Leopidus. So uh, Cleopatra, the queen of Egypt, another character, uh, Anthony's lover, a highly attractive woman who once seduced Julius Caesar. Cleopatra delights in the thought she has caught Anthony like a fish in matter of love as all things. Cleopatra favors high drama. Her emotions are as volatile as they are theatrical. Octavius Caesar, the queen of Egypt and Anthony's lover. So a highly active, attractive woman who once seduced you. So the, this is the story of uh, uh, Octavius Caesar is the, uh, the uh, later on he became uh, Caesar's Augustus. In Abarbus, Anthony's most loyal supporter, Marcus Aemilius Lepidus, Pompey, the son of a great general who was one of the Julius Caesar's partner in power, Pompey is young and popular with the Roman people. Octavia, Caesar's sisters. Octavius marries Octavia off to Anthony to cement an alliance with the two. Uh, so the soothsayer, many 
Agrippina and other characters in this play, uh, Antony and Cleopatra. This is a tragic play by William Shakespeare. This is the tale uh, of uh, a power and ambition and the tale of betrayal and uh, the quest and obsession for the power. Uh, so I think this is a very interesting play written by William Shakespeare. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you very much.